30 miles west of Hudson, a crew aboard the FWC Gulf Sentry spotted something. One of the crew members on the crew said he saw somebody in the water and luckily we were able to go over there and retrieve the person in the water alive and bring him back here. After spending almost 20 hours with only his dive suit, fins and buoyancy gear, a Coast Guard crew rescued 57-year-old Terry Hayes. We saw that he was waving for help. Everyone, uh, our crew deployed a, um, a life ring pulled him over to the side of the boat and he was so exhausted he couldn't actually get in the boat so Officer Smith entered the water. Hayes is the second diver pulled from the Gulf after getting separated from their dive boat. The previous evening a Coast Guard Jayhawk crew hoisted 34 year old Michael Pavlich to safety six miles from the dive site. The search for the two men involved nine choppers, 13 small boats and a whole lot of manpower. As I can tell you to locate a person in water is not easy. If you can imagine uh, from a helicopter from a small boat trying to locate somebody who's treading water uh, perilously in the water, it's not easy. Rescuers gave Terry Hayes water bottles and a ride to St. Petersburg. He was in good spirits. You know, he's a fighter. He, he had a will to survive, and I personally think that's what helped, you know, keep him alive throughout the night.